All right, good morning, everybody. So um, I wanted to make this quick video because I've seen some comments saying they some people were having a little bit of trouble with um, patching a ROM for playing T edition and stuff. So I kind of wanted to go over exactly how to do that for you real quick. First of all, you will want to get uh, some sort of an emulator for Super Nintendo if you don't already have one. I use SNES 9X. I think it's the best one you can get. I'm not going to tell you where to get it, but simple Google search could find it pretty easily. Secondly, you will want to go ahead and go to romhacking.net, which is where you get most ROM hacks for a lot of really cool games. This is just a great website if you want to play a bunch of different kind, different games and different ways. And um, this is where you'll find the Final Fantasy 16 edition and EX English translation patches from Tomato. So pretty easy. Again, you can just Google search it. It's the first thing that comes up. As you can see, it kind of goes over what the hack is about and stuff. And um, the number one thing you want to pay attention to right here is this patch should be applied to an unmodified ROM of FF6J and not FF3US. So um, I also can't tell you where to get that ROM but it's not hard to find either. So you want a Final Fantasy VI Japanese base ROM for this. Uh, it should be version 1.0, which is pretty much everyone that you're gonna find, if I'm being honest. Then you'll wanna click download here, and this will actually download the patches from Tomato for the English translation. I've already got it here in this folder. Uh, you know, when you download it, you'll just use your, your WinZip or your WinRAR or whatever just to extract the folder containing the patches to whatever folder you want or whatever area you want. I just did desktop to make this a little easier and I've already got a Final Fantasy VI Japanese ROM here. Basically what you're going to want to do, first of all, uh, make sure that your Japanese ROM is working. So go into your SNES 9X and load a game. Just go to your desktop and click that. Obviously you will know it's the Japanese ROM because when you hit the A button it'll start the intro and it'll be in Japanese so there you have it and then what you want to do there's two different ways that you can patch you can either you can get a, a an actual tool for doing so called lunar IPS that uh, I used to use before and it will directly patch it will basically say hey go grab the ROM file that you want to patch and the patch and you'll load both in and you'll click patch and it'll patch that ROM permanently. Now there's a reason in speci for specifically T-Edition that I don't like to do that because it has two patches. One of them is the EX patch for the end game content and you don't want to permanently patch your fresh Japanese ROM if you can avoid it because you're going to want to repatch or your Japanese ROM with the EX patch later. So basically this is what you're going to do, okay? So in the T-Edition English patch ROMs, these IPS files are your patches. This here, the second one, you don't want to pay attention to right now because it is not for the base game. That is for the extra game content. You want to look at this first one here, version A.IPS, uh, just English version. It doesn't say EX on it. So what this is, is this is the entire translation. This is very, very easy, and if you ever want to patch pretty much any game, this is how you should do it. What you will want to do is go ahead and drag this. It has to be in the same folder as your Japanese ROM, okay? So I'm just gonna pull it out to the desktop. So now we've got your Japanese ROM and your English version patch. The great part about this is with IPSs is as long as it is the same name as your ROM, it automatically patches it as long as they stay in the same folder. So since we're on the desktop, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to rename our SFC ROM, right? The base ROM for the game. I'm going to rename it, uh, let's just do FF6TED, right? So FF6TED.SFC, and then we will go to the English version patch here, and we will rename this the exact same thing. It has to be case sensitive. It's got to be exactly what you named your ROM file. So now we've got FF6 T edition TED.SFC, that is your ROM file, and then FF6 TED.IPS, which is your patch file. They are in the exact same place on my desktop. So now when I go into my SNES and I load game and I load FF6 TED, 
quick, easy way to uh, notice that the patch worked is just to wait through the intro until the logo comes up. So then there's your logo. And there you have it, T-Edition 2.9. That means that it was patched successfully, and when we hit the A button, we should get English text, and you should be now playing T-Edition. So it's really that simple. Um, and later on, um, outside of having to you know, mess around with the SRM file for later when you want to play uh, the EX patch. Basically, when you want the EX patch, when you're in the correct save spot, and this comes with a readme, so that'll tell you exactly when to use this EX English version patch. Um, when you're in the correct spot, save spot for the patch to be applied, uh, basically you will drag this one out here this is what I typically do to switch between them. You'll drag the second patch out here. And what you'll do is you'll keep this IPS patch, the one you used before, the same name. And you'll rename this one something new, like FF6TEDEX. And then you'll rename the EX version patch the exact same thing as that. And that'll automatically patch it. And this one won't apply anymore because they aren't the same name, if that makes sense. So... And then if you want to revert back to regular T-Edition, you just rename them again. And that's it. Except for you, when you want your save file to be correct for each one, you have to rename the save files to, like the .srm file, which would be in your uh, SNES 9x um, saves folder. So let me just go to that real quick. So this is my SNES 9x folder. And then when you go to this folder saves, this is the directory that it sends all of your SRM files for games that you play on your emulator. So when you have um, your FF6 TED, right? We have that SRM in here. If we had saved it all, this is where it would come up. And what you would do is you would go in when you switch to the EX patch, um, you would rename your SRM the same name as the new name you gave this Japanese ROM for when you put the EX patch on. And when you load it up, that should bring up the correct save file. And then when you switch back with the renaming, you'll just rename your SRM file the base ROM's name again. So there you have it, guys. It's really, really simple. Have fun. It's not hard to, to patch it. And um, I hope you guys get to play T-Edition because it is definitely worth the play. Uh, if you have any more questions, if I didn't cover everything in here, like I should have, um, leave a comment in the comment section and I'll, I'll see if I can answer your questions. But that's basically the gist of it and it's not too terribly hard. But And then once you get used to patching stuff all the time like this, you'll just want to keep going back to ROM hacking and see what other kind of cool ROM hacks there are for other games. Yep, that's it. Thanks guys. I hope this helped and I will see you soon. Peace.